<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Hype Man here, Nerd for the Word, a.k.a. Brother Junior, formerly known as a wretched doctor, like my brothers and sisters. If we turn our Bibles to Ephesians chapter 2, we're looking at verses 4 and 5, and it reads, But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Our brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory. <laughs> <laughs> All the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in Ephesians chapter 2, and the book of Ephesians is a letter written by the Apostle Paul, a gospel grace believer and a gospel grace preacher, where it says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4, but God. Our Abba Father, who is rich in mercy, and mercy, a component of the gospel, the mercy is with, he withhold the bad that's deserved. For his great love wherewith he loved us, and this Great love wherewith our Abba Father loved us is agape love. And then watch this. Even when we were dead in sins, and being dead in sins, that's being spiritually dead. But because of his mercy, withholding the bad that's deserved, and being spiritually dead, uh, he withhold the, the the punishment because of mercy of being spiritually dead. Our Abba Father, how does he do that? And have quickened us together with Christ Jesus, his Son, our Lord and Savior, and sooner come to King Jesus Christ. And so it's the mercy that withhold the punishment of being spiritually dead. And then quickening us together with his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and finished work, what he did on the cross. We are saved. And by how we saved? By grace. The, the 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 goodness that we don't deserve by grace are ye saved so the mercy of god spares us from the punishment of spiritual death and the grace of god saves us sanctifies us strengthens us, sustains us, and supports us unto the goodness of God. If we turn our Bibles to John chapter 11, and this is where, <laughs> pray the Lord, this is where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, after learning that one is a disciple, a believer of his, uh, uh, was sick and, and then he turned out to physically die and now he, uh, he's he been physically dead for, for four days but when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ arrives he arrives on the fifth day and we know five is the number of grace and so he gets there in the house the, 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 the Lazarus uh, sisters Martha and Mary are visibly upset weeping and despondent and Martha one of the sisters hears that it's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has come to town so she leaves the house she goes to meet our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and says you know if you were here 
you know, my brother would have been alive. But I know that whatever you ask of God, he'll answer of you. And then we pick up what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says in John chapter 11, verse 23. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Now remember, my brothers and sisters, so much more in 2024. Deep truth, simple, every day, everything example, where we see in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12, where the Apostle Paul writes, And this is the time of our rejoicing. This is the testimony of our conscience with simplicity and godly sincerity, and not with fleshy wisdom, but the grace of God. And we receive his conversation, grace to grace, mercy of mercy. And so when our Lord Savior Jesus Christ gets there and, and, and then Martha says, if you would have been him, my brother would have been alive. But I know that whatever you ask God, God's going to answer to you. And Jesus said, your, your, your brother's going to rise again from the dead. And then we see that happen because we jump in John chapter 11, verse 43. It says, and when he, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, thus had spoken, he, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, with a loud cry, Lazarus, come forth. And then watch this, verse 44. And he, this is Lazarus, that was dead, came forth. So we see that 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 John chapter eleven verse forty four is the response to what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said in John chapter eleven verse twenty three. But Martha didn't really pick up to what was going on because she says in verse twenty four. John chapter 11, Martha is safe unto him, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ then, because he already said, your brother's going to be rose from the dead. Now our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ just goes into another topic and identifies himself in, a, in, a, in another fashion. And, and then gives Martha the gospel. The gospel has, is full of mercy and is full of grace. Where we see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says in John chapter 11, verse 25, Jesus saith unto her, Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. So he's identifying himself. In the, as he's the resurrection and the life. Now he's going to give the gospel. He that believeth in me, though he were spiritually dead, yet shall he not only physically live, but spiritually live. And whosoever physically liveth and believeth in me shall never spiritually die believest thou this so jesus gave identified himself he gave the gospel it was full of mercy because when he says he that believeth in me, though he were spiritually dead, is withholding the punishment of spiritual death. Yet shall he live. And then I want to watch grace. And whosoever is physically alive and believeth in me, shall never spiritually die because we're saved by grace may the lord bless you may the lord keep
keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his costume. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of grace, which is able to build you up in heritage to those who sanctify in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. And after him that is able, keep you from both and present you for us the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, <laughs> both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Saved by grace. <laughs> In Jesus' name. <laughs>